ever wondered how to look sun-kissed if you actually look like a ghost? First step has absolutely nothing to do with sun-kissed look, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wax my eyebrows. The brows are done and let's move into the actual makeup look. First things first, I will use the Copacabana bronze for my body because I want that glow everywhere. I'm applying it with this Big Body brush by Bali Body. And I truly love this brush with all my heart because this is a must have. I use it with basically anything for body, with any body makeup products, with body illuminators, body oils, body bronzers, even with self tanners. As you can see, without any effort, this brush does all of the blending job for you. This Copacabana oil is really oily, it's so sticky, so I'm gonna fix it with a powder. It's like a highlighter because it does have some sparkles in it. So not only it will fix the stickiness of the oil, but it will also bring more sparkles and more glow. For this powder, I used the biggest and the fluffiest brush I have. Instead of swiping the brush on the skin, I will tap it. I do it to make sure the oil doesn't move anywhere and just stays in place. For the primer, I'm gonna use two products today and I will mix them together. First one is Kosas Glow Vitamin Enhancer and second one is Love in Tan Bronze Shimmer. Just trust the process because it will look gorgeous on the skin. We will literally shine from within. After using the duo fiber brush, I'm gonna melt the products into the skin with my fingers. And I'm also tapping it into the skin for a better blending result. Instead of concealer, I'm gonna use this lightweight Fenty Beauty under eye brightener. I kinda took too much product, so I'm gonna blend it with a beauty blender. Next product is Liquid Shimmery Blush. It is also super lightweight. Now I'm gonna set all of the cream products with powder. I use Mineral BB Powder with SPF 50. And if we applied the powder, it means we're done with cream products. So let's move into the powder products. First one is bronzer. I use Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and I really love this one. Lately, this one was my favorite. I'm basically applying it slightly higher than my actual cheekbone. I'm also applying it on my nose, on the center of the bridge because I want to apply the bronzer everywhere where the sun touches my face the most. Benefit Shelly is my favorite blush for this look because this is perfect coral color. This color is the best representation of what my skin looks like when it gets sun-kissed. The placement of the blush is absolutely the same with the bronzer. On my skin it looks more natural this way. And let's move into the glowy highlighting part. On the top of the matte blush I'm gonna apply this shimmery blush from Revolution. And then I mix this pink and pearl highlighters on top. Let's also bring some shine to the nose tip, nose bridge, under the brow area and on the eye in the corners. Next step is eyes. For this makeup look, I'm gonna keep it really natural because in my personal opinion, sun-kissed is all about fresh, soft, playful and natural.
to highlight my eye color a bit, I'm gonna use waterproof baby blue cream gel liner only in the center of my waterline, right under my iris. Right before applying mascara, I'm gonna set it all with milk setting spray. Love this one for summer because it's fragrance free, super refreshing and fulfills its purpose really well. Some setting sprays leave this, you know, sticky feeling on top. This one doesn't do that. Important. I only use lash curler on one eye at a time. My eyelashes are pretty stubborn and thick, so they only hold the curl if the mascara is applied immediately after curling. I always use this technique on my models and clients, and you know, it worked every time, even on stubborn lashes. So if you have those, feel free to use my little life hack. See? Perfectly curl and fluffy. Also, I always comb my eyelashes after curling before applying mascara to avoid clumping as much as I can. Now I'm gonna use MAC Eyebrow Styler Pencil in Strut to fill the eyebrow tails. And I'm gonna blend the color into my eyebrows using the opposite side of this pencil. It makes them look really natural. More setting spray. And now let's finally start with the lips. Remember, this look is all about natural and I think with this kind of lip makeup it will look the most natural. I don't want to destroy the color inside of my lip gloss tube, so I will apply it with this silicone applicator. And this is it. Our sun-kissed makeup is done. I hope it was helpful and interesting for you. We love your Foxy.